They're coming up to the front straightaway. The acceleration begins. We're about to get a green flag. Jim Swintel looks over the field. All 14 cars lined up nicely on the straightaway. Swintel holds them, holds them, holds them. There's the green, and we're racing in Cleveland. Mark Smith on the pole. A lot of room for jockeying right here, Derek. A lot of room, but Mark Smith did take advantage of that pole position. Look at Brian Till. He went wide trying to go around the outside. That's Robbie Buell in the red car running second. Turn number two, a long, bending, sweeping, fast right-hander and about three car lengths for Mark Smith. And here comes Groff moving up through the pack as he gets by Brian Till and assumes third place in the opening portion of this race. Tricky bit of pavement right there, but they're all through it cleanly. Now single filed out, a straightaway, and then a right-hander and a left-hander, a combination right here, Derek, that's uh, pretty tough as well. It is very tough. This is a triple apex, almost long right-hander here. We see Mark Smith still leading Robbie Buell second. Robbie Groff, nice move in that first lap, and Brian Till is fourth. A P.J. Jones, we saw him earlier in our shot. That's the one we're going to watch. There's Jones. He's fifth. And to the front straightaway they come, coming back toward the completion of lap number one. P.J. Jones looking to move up through the pack, has gotten through Johnny O'Connell. Brian Till, the number 24 car, takes a different line down the straightaway, trying to pick up Robbie Groff, and he does it. So he's back in third. There's P.J. Jones, and he's in front of the yellow car, that of Johnny O'Connell, running in fifth place right now. Mark Smith leads after one lap, followed closely by Robbie Buell, then Till, Groff, and P.J. Jones, the top five at this point, into turn number one. Eric Bacalar, the points leader on the year, they got it fixed, but he's almost a full lap back, but in competition. And now, Derek, running for points. We're in the early going at Cleveland. Mark Smith leads it. Robbie Buell, Brian Till, Robbie Groff, P.J. Jones, and Johnny O'Connell all in the lead serial. It's a battle at the front in Cleveland. We'll be back. That's the leader, Mark Smith. Then we have Buell, Till, Groff and P.J. Jones. The lead serial, a battle up front of five cars in single file procession right now. P.J. Jones, so spectacular, he uses all the race racetrack. We saw him earlier on stick those wheels off onto the grass, but he is giving Robbie Groff a lot of trouble at the moment. Now, the rest of the pack has not got away, so P.J. Jones is in good shape here. Remember, this is where he tried to make the pass before. He went right, then he went left. Not quite close enough to get down inside under braking, though. Who can forget the drive he put on here a year ago when he spun in the opening lap, was all the way at the end of the standing. About a half lap down and came back to finish second. May have been the best single drive of the 1990 Indy Lights campaign. And this is where he tries to go down in the inside under braking, and he's going to do the same thing again. Yes, he, inso he is inside Grop. No, he took, goes back in, didn't make it. But that's where he likes to make the move. Didn't quite, oh, look at that off the road here. This is how they use the race car, the Johnny race track, and the grass. Johnny O'Connell joining that group to making it, making it a six-car fight up front, but he pulled back a little bit, trying to pick his way through the dust. Now you see the yellow car trying to rejoin the fray. P.J. Jones, the fifth little slide there by Johnny O'Connell, looking up the track from O'Connell's car at the P.J. Jones rear wing. Into turn number five they go. Hard pass, left hand. Very fast left, and now three right-handers in a row here. Look at the bang in the, the driver takes as they go over that right-hander and, oh, and across the apex. Now there's another one here, big bump. Right there, see the driver move, a little correction, changes gear. This is on the long back stretch here. This is gear changes. Looks in his mirrors, and then heads off after P.J. Jones. Into turn at number nine and ten on this course. Put yet another lap down. Mark Smith continues to set the way. We're on board with Johnny O'Connell. This is the front stretch past his pit board. And down in turn number one, that's Smith in the green car. A little wide, Robbie Buell there. Till had a look to the inside, but couldn't respond. And then Groff right behind Till. This is where P.J. and Groff went off last time. This time they keep all four on the pavement, and the battle rages, but the positions don't change. So Mark Smith continues to lead. He came from pole and hasn't given it up yet. Robbie Buell second, Till third, then Groff and P.J. Jones. We're at Cleveland, and we'll be back. Eric Bachelard, who had the incident in qualifying and started late in this event, has just picked up the 13th position in the race, passing Wayne Serbo. He's not going to win today, Derek. There's Wayne Serbo in the number 11 car, his first ever Indy Lights race. But Bachelard isn't going to win. He needs to get into the points and try and protect his lead a little bit. 
Mark Smith continuing to run across in number one. He's on the north side of the course, hard against the shore of Lake Erie through turn three. Sets the apex at turn four and straights it out. He's being chased closely by Robbie Buell, then Brian Phil, P.J. Jones, and Robbie Groff, and Johnny O'Connell in the number eight machine, running sixth, but not very far from the front. Just a few tenths separate one through six. About three car lengths separate one and two. Smith and Buell, and Groff tries to move down inside, and he outbreaks. P.J. Jones with the inside move and gets fourth place back, but here comes P.J. once again from Johnny O'Connell's look there. P.J. moved to the right-hand side, tried to get around Groff, but one is unable to accomplish it, at least for the moment. Oh, great oh. racing here. Look at Jones trying to get around the outside. Very difficult move, but if anybody can try to pull it off, it's Jones. But look at him flip and slide all over the place. Now look at the Milkhouse cheese car. Oh, O'Connell doesn't like what he sees, so he gives him uh, an indication. What was that, Chris? <laughs> Sign language into turn five they go. Johnny O'Connell, he really looked like he had a line to come off that turn and pick up the position, but P.J. swung back to the center of the pavement, and that made him a little angry. Still six, battling for the win. Mark Smith, then Buell, then Till, then Robbie Groff, P.J. Jones, and Johnny O'Connell. Great fight in the sunshine of Cleveland. the course as Robbie Buell gets in a little too hot in turn number four and he gives up several spaces on the racetrack getting through his till Groff and Jones and Johnny O'Connell so Robbie Buell looking for his first win coming off the front row he makes the first mistake in that lead serial and gives up a lot of racetrack and you're right that was the first mistake here's the replay now Mark Smith gets through cleanly but look at this Buell loses it on the way into the corner a long lazy 180 spin backs out of the way doesn't get hit by anybody but what a disaster for Robbie Buell. Sixth place now belongs to Robbie Buell. He'd run to this point in second, pressuring Mark Smith. P.J. Jones slowing on the course, Derek Daly. P.J. Jones came through the last right-left chicane right before the uh, pit straight, slowed down dramatically and pulled off the, to the left-hand side. Something serious wrong with that car. His day is obviously done. Short day for P.J. <laughs> Eric Bachelard has made the move through Roberto Quintanilla and picked up the eighth position in the race after starting late and flat. Eric Bachelard making more and more of his weekend in Cleveland. Less a disaster with each passing moment. And now a move by Robbie Groff to pick up second place in turn one. He gets by Brian Till, and Brian Till with an answer. They're on the straightaway. It's very fast here, and Till gets it back. Great racing here. Robbie Groff took a big chance to slide down the inside. Of course, went a little bit too wide on the apex. Brian Till tucked down inside him, got on the power earlier, and wasn't able to retake the pass along the back stretch. Good racing, though. On board we go with Johnny O'Connell. Just in front of him is the Robbie Groff car. As they work on the back straightaway, the front serial is Smith, Hill, Groff, and O'Connell. We'll be back. Welcome back to Cleveland. Chris McClure along with Derek Daly. This is the battle for second place. Brian Till, the 24 car, then Robbie Groff and Johnny O'Connell. Onto the front straightaway they come. White flag lap. One lap to go. 2.369 and 10 miles. 10 turns between Mark Smith and his first Indy Lights victory. Robbie Groff had to take a, a tight line into turn one because he knew that Johnny O'Connell was going to try and make an attempt to go down the inside. But he did block the maneuver, defensive driving. Remember, one lap. They're on the last lap. Johnny O'Connell in fourth. This is turn number four. He makes the left-hander. They straighten it out. A little over 1,000 feet of runway at this point. And down to another left-hander. There's Till. There's Groff. Number five, number eight is Johnny O'Connell. Mark Smith is fairly secure, almost two seconds in front. But of course, with just a couple, three turns to go, no mistake would be tolerated. They're turn, turn number seven, then turn number eight, and the turn four home. Two more turns for the leader and the rest of them in this lead serial at Cleveland. Such close racing. Mark Smith has totally dominated the event, but second, third, and fourth was still up for grabs, but I'm not sure. No, they're not close enough to make an attempt here. Safely through nine and 10, Mark Smith, Jim Swintel holds the double checkered flag in hand, and Mark Smith storms across the line, followed by Till Groff and Johnny O'Connell. So Mark Smith has picked up his first Indy Lights victory, followed in second place by Brian Till, Robbie Groff, Johnny O'Connell, and Buell back to fifth. 
The next group of five, Frank Freon, Eric Bachelard, Roberto Quintanilla, John Marconi, and Jeff Davis. And then in 11th spot, Bob Reed, Mike Snow, Wayne Serbo, 13th, and P.J. Jones, the only retirement, finishes in 14th position. For his victory, Mark Smith collects a huge payday. The first place money is $20,750. The Conoco Bowl Award, $1,000. The Lap Leader Award from Miller Genuine Draft of $500. And the Buick Power Challenge, no longer going to roll over. That worth $12,000. Total for the day for Smith, $34,250. Uh, Indy Lights record. And the winner is with Gary Jarrell. First place, Mark Smith out of the car, Chris McClure. And I'll tell you what. The first victory in your Indy Lights career. What's the feeling like right at this moment? Is it as good as you'd hoped it might be? Yeah, it feels really good. We've uh, got a lot of second places, and um, it's just uh, good to move up into first place. Congratulations. Go enjoy the moment. Chris? The Firestone Indy Lights season is now at its halfway point. Eric Bachelard still leads in the championship with 100, but the gap is narrowed. Robbie Groff. Second place with 83 points. Mark Smith with the victory and the pole and the lap led is now at 80 in third place. Followed by Frank Freon with 70. And Brian Till now is in fifth spot, a point ahead of Robbie Buell. And that'll do it from the sunshine of Cleveland. On behalf of our pit reporter, Gary Gerald, and my colleague here in the booth, Derek Daly, this is Chris McClure. So long, everybody.